calling it a comedy, but it's seriously so well done in every single way. And in case you didn't know, the movie is based on the true story of the most influential vice, as in vice president, and the brains and faces behind the movie talk to us about their roles. What do you say? I want you to be my VP. I want you. You're my vice. Well, George, I, uh... I'm the CEO of a large company. It's the transformation that left many of us speechless. Christian Bale as former vice president Dick Cheney. After watching this, I don't know whether to bow to you, give you a high five, fist bump, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> it was quite a, a challenge and it was not one that I felt I could achieve and thank God I had a wonderful team of people who could help me. And right there to help him complete the mission was Amy Adams. People are saying he's the mastermind behind the presidency. He was the puppet master mm -hmm. and all that stuff. But when you watch the movie, you realize that Mrs. Cheney was no joke either. No, she was formidable. You have she, to watch old videos of I her? I did. She did a lot of interviews, yeah. and she's done book tours. So I was yeah. able to see that. But I think the most helpful thing was stepping aside from sort of her just the physical nature of getting that correct. Mm -hmm. I wanted to understand her spirit in a way that wasn't judgmental. When you have power. People will always try to take it from you, always. What Christian does with this role and Amy Adams, the transformations they go through, we were lucky through these great actors. They just take us into this world. It's, it's something to behold. But they couldn't do it without you writing it and putting the story together. Thank you. And the way you do it, it's unbelievable. Thank you. You're really, I, I always knew you were smart, but... You were like, <laughs> I was, I, I was near this one, but now it's like, oh, 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 but it was so well done. So we gonna do this thing or what? I mean, is this happening? I believe we can make this work. <laughs> Hot damn. I'm always kind of seduced by the notion of failure. Uh, if you're going to try uh, something, you know, uh, the, the, the idea that you might fail really no. drives you. And we're happy the Oscar winner was driven to delve into Vice. He had a few heart attack scenes as Mr. Cheney, and in true bail fashion, he researched the symptoms, symptoms he shared with Adam McKay, which ended up saving the writer-director's life when he too suffered an attack. And how are you feeling now? Are you all good? I feel great. Because yeah. I know uh, Mr. Mr. Bale, I, I just had him uh, diagnose my symptoms. <laughs> I just figured I'd tell you my symptoms, so you tell me what's wrong with me, since you're also a lifesaver. So like, I've been getting a, a cold, like itchy throat. Right. And like tension here. So what is, what do I have? What you've got is don't want to go to work itis. Now back to the movie. Remember how shocked you were when you realized it was Christian Bale behind those glasses? Well, you know what they say about payback. I just had to leave them with a shocker of their own. This is who picks me up. Who does it look like? Oh my gosh, just did Dick Cheney through. pick you up? I know. You've got to be kidding. I'm not joking. Scroll through. Is that weird? That I took pictures. Is freaky. It's like Cheney. Right? Yes. I was yes. like, is exactly. are they kidding? Who picks you up? Oh, so it's a cab driver that picks me up after the junket looks like Dick Cheney. It's That's no hilarious. joke, so they're like going crazy. Like, but is I can't. that you, Christian? I want to see the picture. <laughs> I know, I'll show it to you on my phone later. But Vice opens tomorrow, <gasps> Christmas Day, at a theater near you.